This is a poetic story, a collaboration novel, narrated by the poet Dawn Michel and the poet B. G. K. L. titled Extremity of Strength. Man, bro, I just don't understand why. People are out here like the streets ain't real. Women withering away because they're out here lady marmalading. Men losing self because they're chasing the block instead of knowledge. We as people are powerful, yet our class sometimes plays hide and seek. Antique ways of old-fashioned wisdom still exist within the curious blood. Love for the neighborhoods of tears may have become beds for some. Strum of soul violins has been ripped from the blossom of queens. Streams of masculine egos welcome corners of twisting fingers as survival. Idols of real leaders are faint, my sister, but we can still change the narrative. How? How do we initiate change? Wisdom seems to be rearranged in this day and age. Good and bad in many ways have traded places. I look at all the faces I come across naturally and in my mind's eye. It seems as if hope is barely hanging on by a thread that is constantly unraveling. My brother, can our communities breathe again? Thin lines of love and hate rules the wind we inhale. Impale all words of hope and understand the soul knots of your wise threads. Shreds of many facial expressions shall haunt our minds eternally blended. Transcendence of two emotions like negative and positive are nothing but proportion. Distortion of today's wisdom is pocket size compared to the age of true brilliance. Resilience has always been our roots. Change is a justified word of our action. Contractions of race pain is what still bothers my heart with this world. It is very depressing. Depressing, I agree. But bro, I feel a shift. Are there words we can speak to cause hope to sweep through the streets as rain and wash them with relief? Though downtrodden at times, strength and resilience is infused in our DNA. Throughout the ages, we remain to be resourceful, powerful, and triumphant. When we remember who we are. Caviar and folded paper has drifted most psyches beyond the art of recall. Menthol pain pills of numbness covering illusions of their own creation. Admiration within the bones of our own as well as the heart. Top winds of bitter wars has yet begun my loyal sister Dawn. Foregone narratives of consistent hate are still breeding the anger. Stranger days are near. Sister, can't you feel it brewing and seeping? My dear brother, I feel it's brewing. Soon to be the undoing of the age-old charade this world has been playing. Masks of many change guard as dowry slips through fingers of those purposely selected. It's as if an unwanted plague came to visit eyes, ears, nostrils, sashay through streets and never left. Is it too late to ride a ways of intellect infusing truth lace lines of the wisdom of old? Or is it too far gone that we must put on armor for what's to come? Scum is what they betray us as along with fake smiles and temporary shivery to woo our spiritual shield. Wield the currents of intelligence and sail the rough lines of this lifespan so that see now history shall not overcome our past new. 
Construe mentally that pestilence has conflicted a great harm to the organic structure of our people and their vicinity. Divinity always revealed all deceivers in times of their masquerading ritual against the greed of their hands. Strands of their imitation grow inferior towards our survival by them not understanding their defeat. We are one. United we are. Let us cast aside our docile ways that have caused us to downplay our truth. It's time to walk tall in our array of amazingly beautiful royal garments. Streets, shake off your impoverished appearance and rise up in the fertility that labors underneath. The pains have incubated long enough. Now give birth to the greatness this earth has held hostage. The labels applied are illegitimate. Commit our description upon this world and create a new love that needs no arms to utilize. Brutalized symptoms shall soon be reborn from the soul dirt as well as captivity can no longer hold Gaia's abstract. Ramsacked environments shall overcome the vibrating tears of poverty-stricken tolls of disease and devastation. Coloration of true royalty shall travel with their minds held high while the arrangement of treasures fall to feet. Obsolete nature of hate or meek warriors will not be or lost forever. Accuracy of fact is within our life force. Resource and contract our bond. Written by the poet Don Michel and the poet B. G. K. L. Brother G. K. L. That is Gold King Life. Title, Extremity of Strength.